Hey guys, Colin here, and welcome back to Fight for Truth. In this video, we're going to talk about the disgusting display that was put on at the Olympic opening ceremony for this year. For starters, there was a huge controversy because many Christians thought that a group of drag queens, of which there were many in the ceremony, were offering a blasphemous parody of Da Vinci's The Last Supper. Here's a video of Whoopi Goldberg and the ladies from The View responding to that claim in their own way. Watch this. The guy who actually put it all together said it was uh, from the Feast of the Gods, which is a 17th century Dutch painting of the Greek Olympian gods, you know, the Olympian gods, because it's the Olympics. Okay. So here's the deal. I really don't care if the drag queen display had anything to do with the Last Supper painting or Leonardo da Vinci. And I think that Whoopi Goldberg and frankly most of the world are utterly missing the point here. The display itself was an affront to God, period, full stop. Put da Vinci and the Last Supper aside, and the Lord was most certainly not pleased with this event regardless. That's the problem. Genesis 127 says that God himself wonderfully created us male and female. So to take God's beautiful design and twist it is an affront to his love and kindness in creating us. God's law in Deuteronomy 22.5 complements this idea, saying, quote, A woman shall not wear a man's garment, nor shall a man put on a woman's cloak. For whoever does the these things is an abomination to the Lord your God. Now the world looks at this kind of statement and says, wow, abomination? Why is God so upset about this? He sounds incredibly intense. Why is it such a big deal to wear women's clothes as a man or vice versa? And the reason the world would say this is because they don't understand the character of God and they don't understand their position before God as created beings. Case in point, here's a self-professing Christian woman on The View named Sarah Haynes responding to the controversy. Watch this. Intention matters. He came out and said, that wasn't what I intended. I'm sorry if that's what offended you. And this is what I was trying to do. Don't go, this, I get so frustrated with religion, don't go by the literal letter of the Bible, go by the example of the word, which is live with the grace, live with the forgiveness, live, live with, I was frustrated, you answer, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. I get so tired of being beaten over the head with religious messages while someone walks along their life not living like Jesus at all. Like, no. really understand the mission. Now, with all due respect, this take is complete and total nonsense. Again, whether or not the director of the Olympic opening ceremony had any intention of mimicking the Last Supper painting does not ultimately matter. There are little children who will watch this event, and they are being indoctrinated through it to believe that God's design for men and women can be corrupted, and that femininity is a costume that you can put on yourself as a big hairy man. And that's somehow not offensive to God, A, and not offensive to women, B. This is the issue. And Sarah's perspective here is essentially, God talks about forgiveness in the Bible. So why can't we all just forgive everything all the time and get along with each other and sing kumbaya in a big circle? This just shows her understanding of Christianity is incredibly shallow. First, God offers forgiveness to all of those who put their faith in Jesus Christ by his grace, Ephesians 2.8. Forgiveness is not offered on the solid foundation of, wouldn't it be great if we could all just get along with each other? That doesn't mean anything. It is offered on the foundation of Christ's brutal sacrifice on the cross for our sins that he gave in love, Hebrews 12.2. Second, we need to ask the question, why is forgiveness even necessary? If being a drag queen is no big deal, and twisting the created order of God contrary to his explicit commands is no big deal, then what exactly is being forgiven here? You can't have it both ways. Again, so many people have misunderstood the character of God because they've exalted themselves instead of God, and it leads them to all sorts of confusing mistakes. They think that this drag queen performance is no big deal, because by their personal moral opinion, it is no big deal. But if there is a God, and there is, and if that God exists outside of you, and he does, and if that God has made his creation and called it good, and he has, then bending and twisting that creation in a way that he has already told you he hates is a big deal. 
And this is why Christians should be bothered by the display, regardless of any Last Supper implications. But of course, the ladies from The View aggressively refuse to understand this basic Christian point. They continue. Watch this. This was a very small part of it, and it's what's consumed so much of America, I guess. And I, I would say, you know, it happens every four years. There are young people who train their entire lives to be there to represent our countries. Can we please give them the focus? Can we please talk about Simone Biles, her magnificence? So let me offer a translation here. Hey, Christians, can you guys stop trying to glorify God and instead join us in glorifying people? Stop putting the focus on God and start putting the focus on what really matters, Simone Biles. First, let me just say to that, no. Full stop. I will not stop trying to glorify God because he deserves all the glory. It's really that simple. You see, the ladies from The View honestly think that we have the right to attempt worshiping God on Sunday in our church, but that's about it. This is what the world wants. Please worship your little God in your little church and leave the rest of us alone to put on huge pagan performances of degeneracy in the public square. In other words, we want to decide what happens in the whole public square, and you guys can decide what happens in your little church, assuming, of course, we're going to let you. And the answer to this must always be a resounding no from Christians. Why? Well, because God did not merely create the church. He created the world. Genesis 1.1. Christ is not Lord only of the church, he is Lord of all creation, Philippians 2, 9 through 11. And all creation includes every person involved in this display, the athletes, the drag queens, the producers, and the women from The View. They may not like it, but God created them all, and therefore, he has a right to demand their obedience. And ironically, this is where true freedom is actually found, in obedience to God and love for his word. Once we have honored and loved God as ultimate creator, then we can enjoy his creation properly the way that he intended it. Then we can watch amazing feats of athleticism in the Olympics and say, praise God for the glory and beauty of his creation. But until we first honor him, everything will be out of balance and we will serve the drag queen and their desires over the desires of God to our own corruption. So Christians, let's continue to acknowledge Christ as Lord and continue to call the world in the public square to do the same. Please pray for this channel and for anyone mentioned in the video. And check out the ministries linked in the description. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and subscribe to our Rumble channel. And these are the amazing people who make this channel possible with their monthly support. Today's highlighted channel supporter is Eric F. If you want us to do more research, make more videos, and reach more people, please hit the link in the description and join the Truth Army today. And until next time, fight for truth, thank you, and God bless.